So, you have your camera, you have some lenses, you put everything in your bag, and you're ready to go out and shoot for the day. But what else do you need in your bag? Is there anything that you can make your life a little bit easier? Well, I went into my camera bag and I pulled out a bunch of accessories that I use all the time. Some things that you might not even know you need, most of them you can't even get in a camera store, but stuff that I use every day. And all of it you can get for under $50. So, check this out. <music> So in addition to a camera, some lenses, a flash, I have a whole bunch of things in my camera bag that make my life a little bit easier, protect my camera gear, and hopefully enhance my photos a little bit in the end. So I'm going to share 10 of those with you, things that I use every day. Uh, some are more exciting than others, uh, but they're all very low cost, they're small, they're lightweight, and you really should have these in your bag. So the first is going to be the lens pen. Uh, the lens pen is basically a cleaning tool. For your lenses. Uh, you know, you pull out your lens, there's a little bit of dust on it, you want to brush it off. Sometimes you'll try to blow it off, sometimes you'll use your t-shirt to get any dust off. You really should use a brush. So the lens pen has a retractable brush, okay, you can just use it, brush away any debris. If there's something that's on your lens that doesn't come off with the brush, maybe it got wet, there's a little spot on it. On the other side of the lens pen is a little charcoal tip. Okay, you can use this charcoal tip, rub it on the spot, and then brush away the debris comes clean every time. 99.9% uh, of the time, I can use a lens pen to do all of my cleaning. Gets all my stuff nice and clean. I don't have to worry about anything. I always have probably two of these in my bag just in case I lose one. That's how often I use it. Um, it's always right at my side. Anytime I pull out a lens and there's some dust on it, I just pull this out, clean it right off. It's about $10 online. There's different variations. This is a lens pen. I use these all the time. So definitely want this in your bag. Uh, something else I have in my bag all the time uh, is this little uh, pocket army knife. Um, it's smaller than the standard model. Uh, all it really has on it is a knife. Um, it has a screwdriver and on the other side it has uh, little scissors. Um, it even has a toothpick on here which I've never used and I've managed to never lose after all these years. Uh, but it comes in useful. I use it probably once a day. Um, it's always in my carry-on. Uh, when I fly, uh, even though technically you probably shouldn't have it in your carry-on, uh, I've never had a problem with it. But if you're checking a bag, you might as well just throw it in your check bag and then take it and put it into your camera bag when you get to where you're going. Uh, but a little pocket army knife like this is always a good thing to have. That's always with me. So that's two things. Something else I always have with me is gaffer tape. Uh, gaffer tape is that tape that you see used on uh, film sets and photo shoots uh, when there's wires all over the place and they want to bundle them up or tape them down to get them out of the way. Uh, gaffer tape is that it's strong and when you peel it off it doesn't leave any sticky residue so I always have that with me you can get a roll of gaffer tape for probably three dollars um, and I don't, I don't even carry a whole roll with me I'll take maybe three feet of tape and I wrap it around a pencil so I always have a little bit with me when I run out I just replenish it with the roll I used to carry a pencil with me all the time before I had a smartphone and I could take notes on there I used to have a pencil with me to take notes, so that's why the pencil just happened to be in my bag, and it was just the perfect place to put the gaffer tape. So I always have gaffer tape with me. Uh, if I want to tape something to my tripod, if I want to tape something together in my bag, sometimes I'll use it to move something out of the way. If there's a branch, a light branch blocking a shot a little bit, I'll tape it back for a couple of minutes, take it right off, doesn't leave any sticky residue. Um, so it's always good to have something like this in your bag. Uh, so that's three things. Something else I always have a few of with me are these carabiner clips. You've seen these, you probably have a bunch in your house. Uh, it's a little clip, it's spring-loaded. Um, they sell them in hardware stores. They sell them really everywhere, grocery stores and everything. You can get this for one or two bucks. Um, it's great to have. I can clip things to my belt. I can clip things to the outside of my bag. Uh, I always have one or two of these on my bag. I probably own 30 of them at this point. I think I buy one every time I see it. Um, just because I feel like I'm always going to not have it. Uh, so I probably have 30 of these things. I can only find two at any given time, so I always have a couple of these clipped in my bag. I use them fairly frequently. Uh, so you definitely want to have that. Something else I always have, and it's free, uh, rubber bands. You definitely have rubber bands in your house. So take a couple different sizes, uh, throw them in your camera bag. I always have a couple attached to my flash. There's a reason why. I'll get to that later. Uh, but I always have a couple on my flash, and I always have a couple in my bag. 
uh, just for any purposes. You never know when you're going to want to you know, put, attach something, same thing with the tape, attach something to your tripod, attach something to your lens, attach something to your flash. A rubber band is always a good thing to have. Um, something else I always have with me, uh, and I always use a lot, is a remote shutter release. Uh, this is dedicated for the Canon cameras, Nikon makes, makes one uh, for the Nikon cameras and there's third party ones that you can use also. Uh, all this is is one button and it fires the shutter. Um, so I can actually use, uh, take shots hands free. I uh, use it almost all times when uh, the camera's on a tripod. I don't necessarily have to use the cable release all the time. Uh, I only use the cable release if I'm taking exposures longer than 30 seconds or if I want to time an exposure and I don't know how long. I want it to be from the beginning if I'm in bulb mode and I'm just going to hold the button down during the exposure. You need the cable release for that, but otherwise if I'm just pushing the button to take the picture um, and the camera's on a tripod and I don't want to shake it, I use this remote shutter release all the time. All this is one button. Uh, this is probably the most expensive item on my list today, about 20 bucks, um, but I have actually I have two of them. Uh, Bill had bought one and gave it to me. I keep two one with me because I don't want to lose it. If I lose one, I always have the other one. So, um, remote shutter release, definitely, definitely recommend that. I always use it. Uh, a gray card is always a good thing to have. This was actually an eight by 10 gray card. I think it cost $3. I didn't need an eight by 10, so I just cut it down to a smaller size and threw it in my bag. Uh, basically what this is, this is a neutral gray color. It has no reds, greens, blues in it. It's just neutral color. And it's good for correcting your white balance or setting your white balance. Uh, in the beginning. So how, the way I'll use this is if I'm in a shot where lighting is a little bit, you know, suspect, I don't know if I can actually get the correct white balance when I'm editing it afterwards, um, I'll take a shot with this held in the frame uh, with the natural light or the artificial light, whatever's light in the scene, falling on this. Uh, and this will represent my neutral gray color in the scene. So then when I'm in Lightroom later on and I want to actually set my white balance and I can use the little dropper that's on there, I can use the dropper and I can actually pick out this gray card in the frame and that'll basically be my white balance setting for that shot and the subsequent shots in the same series. Uh, so it's small, it's lightweight, it costs a couple of bucks, I just carry it with me all the time. I don't use it very frequently but it's always good to have. I've used it um, and when I do use it, it comes in handy. Uh, so what else do I have in my bag? I always have a washcloth. Again, free. I know you have a washcloth in your house. I know you probably have one that you're not using anymore. You could even take a washcloth from a hotel if you're staying in a hotel. Take one of those washcloths, throw it in your bag. I use this all the time, especially in Florida and Disney during the rainy season. If things are getting wet, I can pull this out and wipe things off. Uh, it's just a good thing to have. Um, like I said, my camera's getting wet all the time because when it's raining, I'm not going inside. I'm not under an umbrella. I'm standing out in the open shooting, I can wipe things off there afterwards. If you go on Splash Mountain and you get wet, if you go on Cali River Rapids and you get wet, now you got a little towel washcloth in your bag. You can also use it for, as, for support. If you're propping your camera up on a table or a garbage pail or up on the ground, it kind of works almost like a bean bag. You know, you can kind of fold it and manipulate it in place and kind of set your camera like that and use it as a little bit of a, a tripod slash support. Um, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is one of my favorites. I use it, I just mentioned Splash Mountain, I just mentioned Cali River Rapids. This is a see-through shower cap. Um, again, you can pick this up in a hotel room. Uh, you probably have one in your house somewhere, so I'm gonna consider this free. The way I'll use this is in wet conditions. If it's raining out, if I'm on a ride, a wet ride, like I said, Splash Mountain, Cali River Rapids, something like that, and I'm gonna be shooting, and I don't wanna get my camera wet. Very simply, it works good with a lens hood on. I'll use a little clip and clip this in place. And now I have a lens cover, okay? I can shoot normally, it's not blocking the lens. I can see everything through here, so I can, pre I can review my shots. I can see all my settings. I have full control on here, keeping the camera totally dry the whole time. And this is something that's basically free. It doesn't take up any size or weight to have it in the bag, but it's always in my bag. Uh, so that's nine items. I promised you 10. And this is a little bit of a homemade item. You might recognize this as an air sickness bag. I pulled this off an airplane. 
basically what I do with this is the rubber band inside. I always have rubber bands. I put a piece of aluminum foil along one side inside, reflective side facing into the bag. And I can take my flash, which has rubber bands on it, always has rubber bands on it, and very easily turn this into a very inexpensive but effective softbox. Which actually works <laughs> surprisingly well. I mean, there are a lot of small soft boxes like this uh, on the market that you can buy, uh, but not one of them is virtually free, and not one of them folds up to this size, which basically is no size or weight at all. It just slips into my bag. Uh, so that's a bunch of things that I carry around with me. Um, if I could think of anything else, I'll put them in the notes below. If you could think of anything that you carry around with you, that you would recommend, some kind of little hack or something like this, I'd love to hear it, definitely share it in the comments below. Um, but that's a little bit of you know what I carry around with me all day. All of this stuff, like I said, cost $50 or less, and I could fit all of it into uh, a sandwich size Ziploc bag. So it doesn't really take up any space or money because you've already blown your budget on cameras and lenses and things like that that we've recommended. Um, so that's the stuff I carry around. Check it out, I hope it helps. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. You'll get other videos like this in your feed. Uh, you'll see them as we make each new one. We're doing two videos a week at least. Uh, so you'll see the new ones as we make them. So I hope this helped and we'll see you in the next video.